joy. Coming at the opportune time to snatch up your thoughts and transfer your mind with force and break strong walls of your heart to whisper the song. You're not good enough. You're not worthy, no. Like a thief in the night that kidnaps your peace and ties up your vision. Clouded and already there, I can't breathe. <gasps> I can't see me or my life to be trusted as it is. I come up short. Anything you can do, I can do better. I'm surprised for comparison, I come out on top. Because I, I am better than you. And through every act of false humility, we feed the insecurities in our minds as we try to convince ourselves of these alternative facts. Looking down on others instead of building them up. So I'll compare. They say the grass isn't always green on the other side. But as far as I can see, nobody wants me. But what's she? But she always said that she's taking attitude. But she's a nice man. And he treats her like kind. The only man I does attract is the one that is beeping when he's walking on the road. I must be unlovable. Because even though I long and I long for my boas, I come up unsatisfied. Don't compare. Because even though a picture appears a thousand words, nobody admits when those words aren't true. And so click after click, we search for the images on screen of held hands and sneaked kisses as we rally after someone else's relationship goals. Forgetting any woman that love is more than just the sweaty palms and the heart shaped package boxes of commercialized affection. Love. Forgetting any woman that love is more of a verb than a noun. Love. Forgetting any woman that love is patient, love is kind. Love is not self seeking. Love. Forgetting any woman that when God says delay, it does not mean deny. Love. Forgetting any woman that what you want to last should never be rushed. Enjoy the season. And instead of taking time to know who we are in Christ, we put band-aids on the bullet wounds of sadness, loneliness, desperation, hunger, and thirsting for love on forms. We dig deep into the barrels of our past, past lovers, past memories, past notes, past times. Oh, it's a glad voice. They shout time minutes everything. And with a hasty heart, they charge through the locked gates of instant gratification. Swipe, right to find love, swipe, left for no one going to say, stop, wait, do not collect 200, do not pass, go. And instead of being transformed by the renewing of our minds, we reminisce on the future. Enjoy the season. But, if only, if only I could have this now, I would be happy. What a wicked misconception. For the sun thought it wasn't as good as the rain, and in the midst of deception, we treated again. The flood waters would come rushing in, engulfing everything in its path. The land slides down, washing up the blame. I blame you, I blame he, she, probably everybody but me. As the waters rise up in and against me. Ho oh, oh, ho, what a wicked misconception. For if the rain would then deny its word for the glory of the sun, the earth would in an instant shrivel up. Cracks, trunks, and bushfires would rain. Pun intended upon the fires of despair. Because we fail to remember that there's a reason for each season and God doesn't work on our timetables. So many reasons for the floods and the bushfires in your own lives. Guard your hearts. For out of it flows the issues of life. But if the very things you consume are pride and condescension with envy and jealousy happen in the port of your heart, out of the belly of hatred shall you spit that which destroys. So sick of love songs, so I swallow up every word to program my mind so the next time this weary heart is downtrodden, in my moment of self-pity, I can remember how we used to be rolling in the deep. Be patient. They say patience is bitter, but it's fruit is sweet. For that which comes easy is rarely ever worth it. Can a man say he's victorious in a battle he's never fought yet? When he self-imposed timetables and deadlines, we become trapped and limited and obstructed that was never meant for us. Becoming our own worst enemies as we skip through the preface and the introduction in our own books because somebody else's chapter 25 sounded better. And now since we don't know ourselves, we lose ourselves on the pages as we try to rewrite and rewire to reassure that if I stick with these wrong decisions long enough, they'll become right. And so we stir our blessings head on, but we recognize them not. Because our gaze is on everything else instead. Instead we pray, Lord, rule my life. But I know best. Because let me be real. In a season of singleness, it can feel like God is breaking you, but He's just breaking walls and molding you like a diamond under pressure to be perfected. And it's time because you're worth it. And His love, it's perfect. And everything you need, He'll provide it. So just wait. So, Lord, I'll wait. Like Abraham and your promises, Lord, I'll wait.
Like Elijah on the rain, Lord, I'll wait. Like Joseph in the prison cell, Lord, I'll wait. Like Hannah for a child, Lord, I'll wait. Like Jesus in the grave, Lord, I'll wait. Be grateful. And with a shift in perspective, you open your mind and humble your heart to receive that which is to come. So trust your own process. Run your own race. Water your own grass and find your happiness from within. Because you'll come to realize that loneliness is not cured with a companion. And loneliness does not equal alone any more than one. Plus one does not equal satisfaction. Don't count me out yet, I'm still running. For no but I got a fight. My eyes are on God's kingdom always And I won't stop until I finish this race